Today we're going on a road trip to see one of the largest markets in all of France in the city of Rennes. Or as they say in French, Rennes! Just helping Steve-O back up, but he didn't need it. Ready to hit the road? Let us boogie. Hi, I'm Steve-O and this is Jen. We're a digital nomad couple from California. Today, we're taking a road trip to the French city of Rennes to see our friends do some shopping and drink cider. Do we survive? Let's find out. Steve is once again driving in a British car here in France, so he is on the right side of the car driving on the right side of the road. He's doing a great job. Right now we're driving from the village where we've been house sitting in France to another French city called Rennes to meet up with three of our friends. Ali, who we met in Thailand, she now lives in France and is studying for her MBA. And then our friends Gabby and Simone, who just got married, they both used to live in Rennes. So it's gonna be really fun to meet them there and they're gonna show us around the city. Raining really hard right now. Steve and I are driving for about an hour and a half, and the weather has turned. Apparently, this is pretty common for the region of Brittany. It tends to get a lot of rain, but it's also very gorgeous. Okay, this is pretty bad. Can you see? No. Okay. All right. We were just drove through like that. That was like a river. Now the sun's coming out. This is a lot nicer for driving. We're still alive. We just arrived in Rennes. We've parked at the John F. Kennedy parking lot. If you come to Rennes and you're coming on a Saturday for the market, then it's going to be very crowded. Our friends knew of this parking lot and recommended that we park here, and then we'll take public transportation on the metro into town. This is a really big JFK parking lot. It'll blow your mind. The JFK parking lot is right next to the JFK metro stop. You can use the metro to get into town, which is quick and easy. When you exit the parking lot, scan your metro card and the parking is free. Ren is home to many universities and students who come to Drinker's Alley, properly known as Rue Saint-Michel, to party. Drinker's Alley has 13 bars and just under 87 meters, so there's a bar every 7 meters. The traditional Breton buildings, dating from the 16th and 17th century, lean into each other like they've had a few drinks as well. The Rennes Saturday Market, or Marché Lys, is the second largest market in all of France. It is open from 7.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. every Saturday, and it has been running for over 400 years. Over 300 artisans and vendors sell fresh fruits and vegetables, cheese, butter, flowers, jams, honey, and bread. Plus, because this is Breton, apples. And where there are apples, there has to be cider. There are two covered markets known as the Martineau Halls in the Rennes Saturday Market. Inside the first hall, you can find meats and cheeses made from all sorts of different animals. Over 10,000 shoppers come to this market from all over France every Saturday. Make sure to get there early because when the food is gone, it's gone. In the second hall, you'll find vendors selling jams, honey, bread, and other baked goods. Some even had free samples from broken cookies. We had to try more of the mini Coogan almond. They had chocolate in them. Oh yeah, you're in it. Brittany has over 2,860 kilometers, about 1,800 miles, of coastline, so there is seafood in abundance. Fish, clams, and what were you expecting? The lobster? Well, they've got that too. It's so fishy. It is so fishy here. Oh, I'm feeling ill. Ooh. Oh, are you really? Thank you. 
At the historic center of Rennes, you can find the city's Marie, or City Hall. Across the Place de Marie courtyard is the Opera of Rennes. The Parliament des Bretons is the most famous 17th century building in the city. The upper floors were rebuilt in 1994 after they burned down in a mysterious fire. This chocolate shop located opposite the Parliament des Bretons shows off amazing works of art made entirely of chocolate. Have you ever wanted to eat a record player or a globe? Now you can. Brittany is famous for cider, crepes, and galettes, which are crepes made of buckwheat flour. This restaurant's claim to fame is their unique ice cream. They have camembert ice cream, mustard ice cream, and a red pepper raspberry sorbet, all of which complemented the savory galettes perfectly. Cheers! Cheers. And we taste it. Mm. Wow. <laughs> it's got a taste of watery honey. <laughs> 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 Thought I missed you making that face. <laughs> Astringent tea. Honestly, we weren't huge fans of the cider. It actually made me break out in hives. This is the St. George Public Swimming Pool. It was opened in 1926 and is beautifully decorated in the Art Deco style of that era. The space is used for swimming as well as movie nights and art exhibitions. There's even a vending machine in the lobby in case you forgot any of your swimming accouchements. Notre Dame and St. Melaine, also known as Our Lady of St. Melaine, was built in the 17th century. You can spot the massive bell tower from all around the city. The stained glass windows of the church cast beautiful light all over the historic building. The Parc du Tabor is an amazing garden near the heart of Rennes. Inside, you can see an aviary with parrots and chickens from all over the world. A self driving robot lawnmower and a stunning garden. All of the flowers have different names, but I doubt these are the scientific names of these flowers. The footpaths will take you all over the park to musical gazebos and ornate art galleries. We had a great time discovering Red with our friends. They were amazing tour guides through this beautiful and historic city. We know we only scratched the surface of what Red has to offer in our short time there. Did we miss anything? Please let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.